In the previous video, we formulate linear program model for the uh, transportation problem example. In this video, we are going to use Excel Solver to find the optimal solution to this transportation problem. Let's take a look. Uh, here, I organize the distance between the groups and the processing plants in the 3x3 three three matrix. And here we have the three groups. Uh, they are location 1, 2, and 3. And here are the three processing plants, location 4, 5, and 6. For example, over here, 21 miles is the distance between location 1, Mount Dora, and location 4, Okela, and so on and so forth. And I'm going to organize my nine decision variables in a similar fashion. And they are in the three by three matrix. Here in cell C14, this is my decision variable X14, and this is my decision variable X25, and so on and so forth. And those numbers are in green. By default, they are zero, and later on, solver will find the optimal values for each of them. Now, let's formulate the objective function. I'm going to formulate in cell E21. That's where I'm going to store the total push your mouse. And recall that the objective function is 21 times x14 plus all the way to 25 times x36. Once again, I'm going to use the Excel function sum product. Sum product of my 3x3 three three coefficient matrix and the 3x3 three three decision variable matrix. And this is my total bushel mileages. Next, let's look at the uh, constraints. First of all, let's look at the uh, supply side. How many pushers will be shipped out of Mondora, location 1, is equal to the sum of x14, x15, and x16. And in my Excel file, they're in cell C14, D14, and E14. And then I can copy and paste formula for location 2, Eustis, and location 3, Clermont. Total pusher shipped out got to be equal to what they have available in each of those three locations. Then let's look at the uh, capacity constraints. How many pushers of citrus will be received at Okela? It's equal to the sum of x14, x24, and x34. And in cell C17, we get the total pushers received in Okela, location 4. Similarly, I'm going to copy-paste the formula for location 5 and 6. OK, this is the uh, Excel model setup for the uh, transportation example we talked about in the previous video. Next, I'm going to launch my solver to find the optimal solution. Where is my uh, Objective cell, it's in cell E21. That's where my total bushel mileage is. And we would like to minimize it. How do we achieve that? By changing x14 all the way to x36. And this optimization problem is subject to the following constraints. Total pushers shipped out of location 1, 2, and 3 got to be equal to the availability in each of those three locations. The other group of constraints are the capacity constraints. Pushers received in location 4, 5, and 6 got to be no more than their respective processing capacity, and they are in cell C19 all the way to 
E19. And that's it. Click OK. Make unconstrained variables not negative. Check. And we are going to select simplex linear programming method. We are good to go. Click Solve. And keep solver solution. Okay, we found our optimal solution. From Mondora, we are going to ship 200,000 pushers to Ocala, nothing to Orlando, and the remaining 75,000 pushers to Leesburg. From location to Eustis, we are going to ship nothing to Ocala. 250,000 pushers to Orlando and 150,000 pushers to Leesburg. In the end, from group number three, Cremont, we're going to ship nothing to Ocala or Leesburg. Instead, we're going to ship everything we have, 300,000 pushers to location five, Orlando. And let's check the constraints. Uh, all the supply constraints are satisfied. We shipped everything out from each of the three groups. On the capacity side, location 4, Ocala, and location 6, Leesburg, they received up to their processing capacity. For Orlando, they received 550,000 pushers, which is less than their processing capacity. It happens only because we don't have enough supply anymore. In the end, the total push out miles is minimized. It turns out to be 24 million push out miles. That's the optimal value of our objective function.